Sir Isaac Newton had discovered three laws of motion. The first law of motion, also known as the law of inertia, it states all objects will continue in a state of rest or with constant velocity unless acted upon by an outside force. For example, objects at rest remain at rest and objects in motion tend to remain in motion. The first example of inertia is the cart is going to accelerate very quickly but the coin will remain at rest. For this example, the catapult will launch an object. When the arm stops, the object will remain in motion. In summary, the first law shows there is a natural tendency of objects to keep on what they are doing. The second law is best described by examining the relationship between force, mass, and acceleration. The acceleration of an object depends on the mass of the object and the amount of force applied. According to Newton's second law, the magnitude of acceleration is proportional to the magnitude of the net force and is inversely proportional to the object's mass. In this example, I'm going to use a hockey puck and a roll of tape which are two different weights. I'm going to push them with the same amount of force and they will accelerate differently. Now I'm going to exert different forces on different weights. The second law can be expressed as a mathematical equation of F equals MA, where force is a product of mass and acceleration. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. When objects interact, they exert forces on each other. For example, sitting in your chair, body exerts a downward force on the chair, and the chair exerts an upward force on your body. In this example, I'm building a balloon car. The balloon exerts the action force, and the floor will exert the reaction force, which is kinetic friction. Those are the three laws of motion. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, like this video, subscribe, and thanks for watching.